In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some helpful shortcut keys for your World of Warcraft rogue. What I want my HD mouse to do is behave like normal for left and right click, as well as the scroll wheel. However, I'd like the left and right side buttons to perform macro shortcuts. On the left side button, I will be programming in a distract macro. On the right side button, a cloak of shadows plus vanish macro. Normally when using your distract ability, you need to move your mouse to the spell, click it, drag the mouse pointer to the location you want it to execute, then click again. This is not particularly difficult or time consuming, but it can be streamlined a bit, which is what I plan to do with this macro. Once in HD mode using my macro, I now only have to point where I want my distract ability to execute and click my left side mouse button. This saves me a click and from moving the mouse back and forth away from the action. The second macro I'm programming in is also not particularly game changing, but it does save a click and a second or two of moving the mouse. When you add all of these little seconds up, they do actually begin to help fairly significantly, especially in fast paced environments such as PvP. Normally before I use my vanish spell, I like to use my cloak of shadows spell as well just in case I have some dots or slowing magic effects on me. To do this, I move my mouse to the Cloak of Shadows spell location on my action bar, click it, then move my mouse to the Vanish spell location, click again, then bring the mouse back to the center screen. When I program this into my HD mouse, all I have to do is click my right side button. When you're in a jam or have only a second to react, it's much easier to click your side button than to find both of these spells on your action bar, then click them independently. Now that we're in the HD mouse interface, I'm going to show you how to create those two macros I just demonstrated. I'm going to start by choosing the World of Warcraft application setting. Then go to mouse buttons. The first macro I want to program in is for the left side button, also known as side button 1. Once I click side button 1, I'll go down and choose macro as my input choice. Then click the program macro setting option that pops up. If you had noticed on my rogue, I positioned the distract spell on my top left action bar. This is so that it would always be in the same location whether I was stealthed or not. To program that spell into our macro, we need to first get it into our main action bar so that it will have a spell number associated with it. By clicking Shift 6, that will bring your top left action bar down into your main spellbar location. Once it's there, Distract is now sitting in the number 1 position. In my macro, I'm going to first program in Shift 6 to get Distract on my main bar, then the number 1. Since this spell requires a mouse click to execute where you want it to take place, I'll add a left mouse click. You'll want to be sure to also add in a shift 1 at the end to put your main spell bar back to its original state. Side button 2, or the right side button, will be a bit easier, as I do not have to worry about any moving of spell bars. On my main spell bar, Cloak of Shadows is in position 9, and Vanish is in position 0, so all I have to program in for my macro is 9, then 0. When you are finished with your settings, be sure to hit apply in the HD mouse interface to save what you have done.